Hello there. Welcome to Anybody Can Code C++ series. So if you are new to this series, you can click on the card that's above to check out our previous videos. Hello there. Uh, welcome to the ABC series of C++ from Facebook. So in the previous episode, uh, we had seen a lot of things related to strings and arrays and, uh, you know, the, there was a small flaw which we had uh, come across that we could not, uh, you know, declare a lot of variables in one go, right? So let's say we had to declare A till Z, okay? We had to declare from A of zero or we had to print if there were uh, 10, uh, you know, uh, elements of an array. Uh, we used to take A of zero, A of one, A of two and so on and so forth till the 10th one. But how do we do it in a loop, right? So can we do it in a loop? Yes, we can do it. So in this episode of, uh, uh, you know, uh, ABC series, we will be learning something called as the control statements. Okay, so in control statements, uh, we have uh, three basic loops. Okay, so the first one is your for loop. Second uh, is your while loop. And the third one is your do while loop. So uh, I'll be telling you uh, each and everything related to these loops. So uh, let's start with the for loop. So a uh, for loop, the syntax is as uh, given on the screen, what you can see. So you'll just write the keyword called as for, then you have something called as the initialization. Then you have a condition and you have an update. Okay. And inside the braces, you'll be writing whatever the uh, loop is supposed to do. Okay. So uh, this is the, uh, you know, syntax of the for loop. So now let me just take you across to the platform and tell you how exactly it works. So I've uh, got this template ready over here for C++. Now let me just uh, write down the syntax. As I told, uh, uh, you know, I'll be just writing the keyword called as for, and I'll be using the parenthesis uh, to, uh, you know, write down all the three things. So the first one was initialization, right? So here I'll just initialize a variable called as I, okay? Initializing, I hope you remember the symbol, right? So I, I am initializing it as one. Okay, I am initializing it as one, and I'll be using a semicolon, okay? Not a comma over here, guys, it is a semicolon. And the condition, let the condition be till i is uh, less than uh, 5. Okay. And again, a semicolon is what I'll be using. And then uh, incrementation or decrementation. That is the update. Okay. So I've done the initialization part. I've written the condition. Now I'm writing the update over here. So update, let's just uh, keep it as uh, i plus plus. Okay. Which means it is supposed to increment. And I'll, uh, you know, give this braces over here to, you know, make it understand, make the compiler understand that whatever is written inside these braces, it is supposed to do it until and unless the loop, loop uh, terminates. Okay. So here I've initialized i as 1. Initialization is done. The condition is till i is less than 5, this loop should run. Okay. And the update is plus plus. Every time, uh, you know, this uh, a brace ends, it is supposed to come back to the for loop and increment i and check the condition again and do the things accordingly. Okay. Now let's see what happens when I run this particular program. So you can see phase prep has been written multiple times over here. Now let's just uh, uh, try to print it in different uh, lines. So if you remember end uh, it takes the cursor to the next line right after the first uh, you know execution. So you can see uh, phase prep has been printed four times. Now why has it printed four times is because now uh, to make you Clear with it. Let me just try to print i along with the uh, uh, phase prep. So let's check what exactly it prints over here. Right. So you can see over here in the first iteration, my i is one because I've started i as one. Okay. So i comes over here one. So it checks the condition one is less than five. Condition is true and it enters inside the braces. It prints phase prep. Okay, and after it prints phase prep, it prints i. What is i now? One. Okay, it prints that over here, and then it goes to the next line. Okay, after it goes to the next line, it comes back to the uh, you know uh, for uh, uh, loop over here, uh, but it increments the i, right? So i was one. It increments it to two. So two is it less than five? Yes. Okay, so two is less than five. Condition is true. It enters inside the loop, and it prints phase prep and also i. So i is two now. Okay, it goes to the next line. So this goes on happening. Next, again, uh, it becomes three, it becomes four, right? So four is less than five, yes. Okay, true, condition is true. It comes inside the braces, it prints phase prep. It also prints i, that is a four, okay? And it goes to the next line. And when it goes to the next line, it comes back to this particular follow-up to check the condition. But when it checks the condition, it has to increment i before that, right? So four becomes five. So five less than five, false. Right. So condition is false. It comes out of the follow. That's it. 
Now let's say instead of giving it as less than, I'll give it as less than or equal to. Okay, now if I try to run this particular program, I'll get the iteration till my uh, uh, i is equal to 5 because I've given less than or equal to 5, right? So uh, this is the basic syntax of uh, uh, for loop and I've told you how to get uh, things uh, executed also over here. Now let's just check that particular thing what we had discussed about, uh, uh, you know, arrays, right? So let me just uh, declare an array called as a and the size would be here uh, 10. Okay, so over here, starting from i is equal to 0, uh, i less than 10, okay, I'm supposed to increment it and I'm supposed to scan this particular array. Okay, so uh, for scanning, what do we do? We take c in, right? So I'll just scan it as a of i. Okay, so every time it, uh, you know, iterates, first it'll be a of 0, then it increments, it'll be a of 1, okay, a of 2, a of 3, so on and so forth. So for printing also, I'll use the, uh, you know, same for loop. So once scanning is done, I'll just print it over here. So for printing, I'll just, uh, I uh, don't have to uh, declare the array again. So I'll just take it off. And instead of C in, I'll just uh, write it as C out. One second, so C out. And uh, here I'll just give certain spaces uh, to make the outputs a bit clear. Just uh, run this particular code. Okay, so it sees uh, there are some errors. Yeah, C out. Got to change that. Okay, now let's check. So here, basically, the compiler will ask us to, uh, you know, uh, give ten a certain uh, uh, what is that uh, data, and then it'll try to uh, print those data. Uh, so here it says uh, I was not declared. Okay. So uh, here we have declared I inside the for loop, right? So if we are using I only inside this brace, uh, we could have written I inside uh, uh, that for loop. But we are using i outside as well, right? So let me just declare it, uh, you know, in the beginning. And now let's try to run this particular loop. Let's check what exactly it says. Yeah. So here now we'll be printing, uh, I mean, uh, we'll be first giving 10 values. So let me just give some random uh, random values over here. So first I'll give uh, 10. Okay, so I'm, I'm just giving random values, guys. So uh, when the limit is reached, uh, I'll just print the, uh, yeah, so you can see. So I've uh, typed random 10 numbers and it is printing 10 numbers over here, 10, 25, so on till uh, 89. So this is how you can, uh, uh, you know, uh, experiment with the loops and uh, do things on your own. So this was one loop, guys. Now let me just uh, uh, tell you what the next one is. So the next one is your while loop. Okay, so similar to your for loop, we have something called as while loop. So uh, the syntax is almost same. So I'll just discuss the syntax over here. Uh, so just like what we had a condition in for loop, we also have a condition for while loop, but there is no incrementation initialization over here. So that'll be inside this particular while loop or outside or however we want it to be. Okay, so let me just uh, explain it to you. So just like how I uh, tried to print uh, face prep 10 times, I'll just try to print face prep for 10 times over here. So let me just declare i separately before that and I'll initialize it as a zero, okay, before the while loop. And here I'll write the condition i less than uh, 10. Okay, and I'll open and close the braces and inside this I'll just write the cout statement uh, uh, saying that it has to print uh, face prep, okay. And uh, after every, in, uh, you know, uh, display or print of uh, uh, your face prep, I want the i to increment. So you can see this uh, update and initialization it is done apart uh, from this particular parenthesis condition. Right? So in the uh, for loop, we had all these three in the single parenthesis, but when it comes to while loop, we had have it separately. And right? so let's just try to print this. Let's check what happens. Uh, yeah, so we have not given uh, to go to the next line. So let's just do that. So instead of giving it 10, I'll just try to give it for five. Let's check what exactly happens. So yeah, so you can see it's the same output guys, but we have used a different loop over here. So uh, while loop specifically is used when you're not sure about the iterations, right? So let's say uh, uh, I, okay, so I, I'll say I is equal to uh, uh, a true. Okay, well, let's just see it is a true, or I can even just put one. So if you remember, I told you anything apart from a literal zero, it means a true, right? So I'll just put one over there. Now this is an infinite loop, guys. Now you can go on printing this, okay? And it will not stop. Okay, so uh, probably the compiler might give you an error, okay? Or it might go on uh, printing it and it will not stop, right? So uh, 
this is a infinite loop the same infinite loop will occur in your uh, uh, what is that a for loop as well yeah you can see the compiler has crashed and uh, we were not able to code right so uh, basically infinite loop also in for loop uh, we, we can do it okay but i don't want to do it again because uh, the compiler would crash uh, but the advanced uh, or the uh, you know the online it is probably what they'll say is uh, you know out of bound exception or uh, time limit exceeded so these are the things what uh, the compiler will understand that there's an infinite loop and they'll uh, try to stop it but uh, unfortunately sometimes uh, they'll try to execute the things and uh, they'll crash right so uh, the last one what we have over here is uh, your uh, do while loop okay so do while loop it is almost same as your while loop but there's a small change of uh, what uh, i would like to tell you over here so you can see we have a keyword called as do in the beginning then you have the body of the loop and the condition comes at the end of the loop right so this is the syntax of the do while loop so let me just uh, write down the uh, uh, things for you so i is equal to zero i'll write the same code but i'll have to print face prep uh, five times okay so uh, do okay and over here i'll open and close the braces so there's no condition over here guys i'll just write uh, the uh, body of the loop and the body of the loop is to uh, print face prep uh, five times right so okay this is done and after this i'll be writing the condition called as uh, while okay i is uh, less than uh, five okay and inside the body i'll be giving the uh, update okay every time the iteration happens i'm supposed to increment i over here and uh, please remember there is a semicolon at the end of this particular condition okay in while loop there's no semicolon after the condition but in do while loop after the uh, uh, you know condition there is a, a semicolon let me just try to run this particular code and check what exactly happens okay face prep basically it's in single line so let me just give a end l and uh, try to print it now yeah so the same output guys uh, there's no difference but we've used a different loop over here now again uh, why we use this particular loop is uh, i told you for loop is specifically when you know the number of iterations uh, for the loop while loop when you do not know the number of iterations for the loop do while is also one such loop where you do not know the number of iterations and you're supposed to execute the loop but here what happens is let's say uh, i print uh, i mean i initialize i is 5 okay in the beginning itself i is 5 which means that here the condition is i less than 5 right so or uh, for your convenience let me check it, take it as 6 okay so the condition here is only when i is less than 5 it is supposed to do these operations right so i have taken i is equal to 6 which obviously is greater than 5 and this condition fails so according to this our loop is not supposed to run but let's see what happens when i run this particular code it is running right it runs which means it is uh, running through this particular body and uh, everything is being executed now that is the beauty of this particular do while loop which means that even if the condition is false it will execute the things whichever is present inside the loop once right now that is because it is just executing the things first and then after the first iteration it checks the condition right so here let's just uh, try to print uh, i over here instead of uh, face prep so i'll just try to print i over here instead of uh, face prep let's check what exactly i is right so yeah so you can see i is 6 over here which means it is executing this particular line of code let me just run it again it is executing this particular line of code but even after it has done so uh, uh, we are not getting any errors because the condition is checked later when it comes to do while loop okay so this is the uh, difference between while loop and do while loop okay please remember very very important do while loop will get executed at least once even if the condition is false okay now uh, I'll, I'll try to uh, uh, do certain things now let's say i want to find the power of 2 okay i'll take one variable called as uh, x okay and i'll initialize it to 2 and i'll take uh, a for loop i is equal to uh, 0 i'll also initialize uh, i over here so i is initialized uh, i less than uh, 3 uh, then i plus plus okay so uh, in this particular uh, uh, for loop what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to find the uh, 2 to the power 3 okay so x is equal to uh, x into uh, 2 okay so i hope you remember this uh, you know assignment operation right so x is equal to uh, this means that x is equal to for x into 2 right so every time this loop runs uh, the 2 will be multiplied with 2 and will get the uh, output however it is 
right? So everything is done, but we have not print the, uh, what is that output, right? So let me just print output that is X. Okay, so let's check what is X in each and every iteration over here. So, okay, we've got four, eight, 16. Let's try to print it in different line. Yeah, so you can see four, eight and 16. So which means that, uh, uh, you know, uh, two to the uh, two into two, again, uh, four into two, again, uh, uh, you know, eight into two. And finally, when it comes to the third, uh, you know, multiplication, it stops. So uh, do we have to do all these, right? So we, we uh, do we have to find the power each and, to find the power each and every time do we have to write a loop? Okay, definitely not. We have got certain inbuilt functions, okay, written in C++ or uh, when it comes to any other languages. Okay, so in the next video, I'll be discussing related to the inbuilt or the predefined functions that is present in various, uh, uh, you know, library uh, libraries of C++. Okay, so, uh, so much for your loops, guys. Okay? So I hope you have understood all the three loops. Uh, please try to experiment on these loops. Okay, and uh, you'll be able to understand very clear based on all these uh, three loops. So till then, happy learning. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe and do click on the bell icon so that you get notified when the further videos are released. And also check out our Instagram page and WhatsApp broadcast services. The links are in the description below.